What's going on, my Western World One community? Hey, when you hear that z z, they say y'all know that's me, right? <laughs> All right. Anyway, man, uh, it's just really not a laughing matter right now. Uh, it's just kind of crazy here, man. You know, I have to, you know, support my boy uh, Adam, man. Uh, you know, y'all know him as the Dreadhead Cowboy. But I'm gonna play a little bit of this video clip here, man, so that way you can see it, and then um, we'll go forward. All right, check it out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. All right, while it's loading up. Rob, he said he did it to draw attention to resources for and violence against kids. But tonight, the mayor is among those who is blasting him for endangering the horse and others traveling on the expressway. She said there's a right and a wrong way to do this, and this was decidedly the wrong way. We've seen a lot in 2020, but this was something many just didn't see coming. Using Facebook Live to begin his message. A man named Adam Hollingsworth, and well known as the Dreadhead Cowboy and Census Cowboy, rode his horse in a slow speed chase on the outbound Dan Ryan Expressway. With a motorcycle entourage, he tied up traffic, creating a spectacle to send his message. Felt like it was necessary to make a big scene. Sometimes you gotta be a little radical. To get a change. A large number of social media comments quickly focused on Hollingsworth cantering his horse for miles on pavement and next to loud motorcycles and police vehicles. Some noted blood on the horse's front hoof. Others called it animal cruelty. Animal cruelty. They're crying out. Who's crying out for the cruelty in our neighborhood? We don't harm nobody. We don't, like, damage nobody cars. We don't be in the way. It's just something for the kids. Kid Lives Matter, I actually support what he did, you know? He just probably shouldn't have did it that long. Joshua Hatchett says he's a friend who also rides a horse. He just rode him too long and the horse got a little agitated on the expressway. We're trying to give back to the neighborhood. We're trying to change people's minds. Two horses, Lives Matter, too. Eventually, the journey ended near 95th <laughs> and Hollingsworth was arrested. I ain't seen him do nothing wrong. So far tonight, he's charged with reckless conduct, disobeying police officer, and criminal trespass. Supporters, as you see here, have been at Chicago Police Department much of the night while he's being processed. The horse, meanwhile, is with animal care and control. We are told that it has one hoof bleeding, another hoof injured, and the right side of its body with saddle sores. We are live at District 5, Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, yo, I, I had to play the video for you guys, man, so y'all can see what it is now, right? Okay, I'm assuming that it's, you know, we're a little bit past that now because um, it's a little bit, you know, it was like four hours ago. All right, so we got this here, right? A horse alleged ridden by a dreadhead cowboy on Dan Ryan uh, may have been. May have to be uh, euthanized, officials say. And man, and euthanized means the horse may have to be put down. All right. So the news pretty much told you what it was or what's going on here. However, um, I'm just going to just scroll, like, you know, like I normally do. Uh, so the way you can see it before I start reading a little bit of it. Uh, but it was something here, man, that they didn't say. Uh, while, you know, um, uh, the dreadhead was in, the dreadhead cowboy was in custody, uh, actually when he went to court. This here, we go right here. Okay, I'm just going to go to this part right here. Is this it right here? Okay, <clears throat> now I said during uh, Hollingsworth court appearance, pro um, prosecutors cited a veterinarian who testified that the damages of the horse body sustained from the ride is equivalent to what would happen if an 80 year old woman were forced to run a full marathon. All right. They saying that's how much strain uh, that was put on the horse, you know, and, um, and, and the people that agree with him saying that he probably was riding the horse a little bit too long, um, than what he than what he should have been doing. But however, he was doing it for a good cause, you know, and actually that, that is his property. You know, I understand, man, um, the Animal Cruelty Society, I understand where they're coming from, too, as well. But at the same time, um, you have to support the cause that he was doing. So, you know, people, you know, like my man said, he said, Sue, horse lives matter. 
as well as the situation. And then um, another person in the video said, you have to be a little radical to get answers. So I want to know y'all, what y'all thoughts, man. All these um, notifications, man. Man, they got to start paying me, man, while I'm doing my video. <laughs> but uh, I want to know y'all thoughts, man. Do y'all think that um, the Dreadhead Cowboy, man, was his cause justifiable? Or do y'all think that he was, uh, you know, he was very rational? Or do you think that he was wrong for riding that horse uh, to support his his cause? Or what do y'all think? Let me know what y'all thoughts, man. Uh, let me know the thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like it, dislike it, um, Instagram, follow me, I follow back, you know, and Facebook, y'all doing what y'all doing, man, I appreciate y'all over there, man, we could do a little bit more, all right, let's just get it in, and I just want y'all to know I appreciate everybody, man, for just even taking the time out to say something, I'm hardening it, man, and I, I respond back to, um, I will start replying back to it, um, you know, as well, because I do want to, you know, interact a little bit more. All right. Let me know what y'all let me know y'all thoughts. I'll be right back with another video or another um, story for you guys. All right.